Hi, in this video I'm going to cover the HLOOKUP function. Now the HLOOKUP function is, when you think about it, it's a cousin or very, familiar, very similar to the VLOOKUP function if you're familiar with the VLOOKUP function. But what the HLOOKUP function does is it searches for a value in, a, in the top row of the table. So you can see it's going to search for a value in the top row of the table and then it's going to return a value in the same column from a row that you specify. So we have this top row, which it's you maybe you're going to look up one of these values here, and then you're going to specify a row, maybe row two, row three, row, row four, whatever it is, and it's going to return that value. So let's see what an example of what that might look like. I'm going to type hlookup, hlookup, press tab to complete that, and maybe I want to look up this value, 13g. I'm going to it's a text value, so I'm going to put that in quotes, 13gef, close quotes. The table array is this table here. So I'm going to select this table range here, comma, the row number, this is going to be the second row. If this is the first row, this is going to be the second row. So I'm going to put number two, and I want to have an exact match. I want to look exactly for 13 GEF. So once I enter, once I press enter, let me close parentheses, once I press enter and execute this function, it's going to bring back the value in this particular column here, second row, 1199 press enter and so it brings back that value. So let's how do we use that in an example here? Let's say we have our table here and we want to look up the price so we can multiply price then qu times quantity to get a final amount. And we want our lookup value to look up these SKUs. So all we need to do is type h lookup press tab. I'm going to look up this value comma and the table array I'm going to select this table array and I have to press F4 to put the dollar signs in front of the range here, A1 to D2, because I'm going to copy this formula down. And when I copy the formula down, the range, this is called a relative cell reference, A7, that's going to change to A8, A8, A9, A10. But when I copy it down, this range stays the same. So I'm going to type a comma, my row index, it's going to be the second row like before. And then I want an exact match. So I'm going to select false, press the, uh, use the close parentheses, press enter, and I have 13.99. So 12 ABC is 13.99. So I'm going to take the fill handle down here and bring it down so it copies the formula down. So as I mentioned before, what happens here since we have a relative cell reference earlier, there's no dollar signs in front of the A and the 8. The ch it changes once we copy it down. But you can notice here with the cell range, since we have dollar signs in front of the A, A1 to D2 it stays the same, nothing changes. So you see here we have our lookups bringing back our prices here. So that's the example of a exact lookup. There's another example that we can use using the approximate lookup. Let's go to example two here. Let's say that we have, instead of I, instead of my SKUs here, I put dates here, 1-1-2017, 2 15 2017 3-1-2017. The prices are still the same. So if we decide to use an approximate match, what it's going to do is bring us, if it doesn't match that value, it's going to bring us the next largest value that matches it. Let's go see how that works. Type equal H lookup, press tab, and then select the date here. And we're going to do the table array here. Press F4 to lock that in, comma, the road index number is still number two. And the only difference now here is I want an approximate match. So I'm going to select true, close parentheses, press control enter to stay in that cell. I'm going to bring the fill handle down and we'll look at the values here and see what happened. So this is 1, 3, 2017. So it's going to look to the values here, 1, 1. So it's not the exact match. So it's going to go to the next one and say, oh, this is 215. So since it's not an exact match, it's going to go down one notch and give me the value 1399. It's going to do the same here for 115 because that is not greater than that. When I get to 212 here, it's going to be the same thing. It's very close to 215, but it's lower than 212. So it's not going to pick 1199. It's going to pick the next one that's underneath it, which is 1399. We can see our value there. So that's the usage of the approximate match. So there's a difference between a, a exact match and an approximate match. One thing to, to, to note for an approximate match, you should have this in an ascending order. So this is basically an ascending order from left to right so we can do this correctly. So that's how you would use the HLOOKUP. I haven't used HLOOKUP being used a lot. Most most instances I see VLOOKUP as the preferred lookup function to use, either that or index and match. But if we have a case where our lookup table spans horizontally, that's probably, and we can't change that, that's probably what we would use the HLOOKUP for. So I hope that helps.
Thanks for watching.